Today we ask the age old question. Will it chips and salsa? Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer. I like to imagine a world where before every meal, whether it's a plate of spaghetti and meatballs, lamb vindaloo, meatballs, mystery, meatloaf, I don't care. I like to imagine it beginning with an endless basket of chips and salsa mm. delivered straight to my mouth hole. Bonus points for airplane noises. Mm, I don't. I think you should do your own dipping and, and chipping personally, but okay. I do agree there should be chips and salsa themed for every occasion, not just relegated to Mexican restaurants and Super Bowl parties. It should belong anywhere and everywhere, all at once. Uh -huh. It's time for Will, Will It Chips and salsa? salsa? Now we've done Will It Chip before. That was great. But chips and salsa, whole different ball game. Both Even better. elements are equally as important to the experience. Yeah, the definition that we've given the to the mythical kitchen, it, to That's qualify Stephanie as- Stephanie gives a definition. Stephanie. Uh, chips and salsa, a dish must check two boxes. It must contain a crispy masa based chip and the salsa must be dippable, scoopable, complimentary in flavor to the chip and preferably served at room temperature. That's a lot of things. Now, nothing brings me greater joy than a server approaching my table with a basket full of something free before I eat. Chips, bread, breadsticks, I don't care, I'm gonna take it. But what does Panda Express offer before the meal? A basket full of nothing! Yeah. Ha! Let's change that! Up first, we have <laughs> orange chippin' and salsa. All right. Trevor, you're running the, we're running the show today? Yeah. What'd you do? Uh, so what we did is we started with a masa base for the chip and then added orange sauce and ground chicken And then that salsa is a Kung Pao Co de Gallo uh, So that's made with Kung Pao sauce, <laughs> onion, peppers, and peanuts What? So did you say there's meat infused into the chip? He did. Ground chicken What? And ground chicken At what point do we think we're gonna get this at Pan Express? Because you're waiting, you're waiting in a line you go, you go to your table, so, no, and you wait, and I then they you, never bring it to you because you have to go up there to the line. Yeah, I think you go up to the line, and it's the first thing. You're like eating these while you're oh, deciding what you want to order. I think that violates health codes. You can't eat. Well, it's free samples. Free samples. Maybe these are only free. So, oh, I, I see that there's like full peanuts. I got a puffy one. Sorry, Rhett. I'm trying to. Full peanuts. There's full peanuts on this. Yeah, you want to go full nuts. Whoa, on it. and they, they're, oh, there's the, the hot little pepper in is there it, too. Is it hot? Is if it you get hot? one of these little peppers, it'll be hot. Is it real hot? It tastes very kung powish. I like a good peanut. The I feel like it's taking too long for me to chew. If I was in line right now, be like people would be yelling at me. Oh. I'm enjoying the samples. Shut up. I like how much. How much? Um, I like the salsa. It's almost like a ground chicken. Did you get? It's almost like a relish. Seems like you're having to think pretty hard right it's now. It's difficult. That's yeah. what I'm reading from your faces. Well, because I'm trying to figure out the chip itself is wrong. Did somebody lie to you? <laughs> you lying to us? Why are you asking about him? there's being stuff inside this chip? It's what not stuffed. It's just mixed into the dough. Oh! Yeah, it's just a, but it's, it's, it's just got a pocket. I thought there was gonna be ground chicken inside there. No, no. that would be that'd, like, be, that'd be a dumpling, man. What am I gonna say something about that? I, I wanted on, to I, like it, but have you done this though? Have you it's gotten not, stuff inside of it? It's it's relishy peanutty. It's just not. Is adding the it's chicken not coming together. to the dough? Like you're saying, a it's mistake? like actually yes. chewy. Like it makes the it makes the yeah. chip part Not chewy. Not even as much of a crisp. Yeah, yeah. That's really hurt. that's really hurt. I me, feel so. like I'm I'm out. I feel like I'm getting too much of a kung pao flavor, and then I wouldn't actually get the kung pao chick kung pao chicken, which is what I want to get. Oh, yep. So it makes you not want to eat anything else at Panda Express, if that tells you anything. <laughs> Panda Express, will it chips and salsa? No. Ooh. Speaking on behalf of people who love root beer floats, which I don't, I'm just speaking on their behalf. Whoever came up with root beer float deserves some kind of medal 
and probably needs to check their glucose levels. <laughs> oh, a couple, yeah. But you don't even like them. Uh, yeah, I'm speaking on behalf of those people. That seems people, inappropriate. And I wanted to create something that would satisfy the people who love root beer float and then might bring me into the fold. Well, presenting. That, that's me. Chips and salsa perella. Oh, okay, I get it. Sarsaparilla sauce. Okay, so those are root beer chips. You can tell because of the brown flavor. They are very texture. root um, beer uh, colored. Yes, they are. Flavored. And then that is salsa ice cream made with a ribbon of ancho and chipotle salsa. Oh, spicy ice cream. So is it a vanilla base? Yeah. What's the, I'm just trying the chip first, which I really like. Hmm. It's very sweet. Super crispy. Super crispy. Super crispy. Um. Get some of the ice cream. Do, do you think the chip tastes root beery enough to you? Because I, mean, I really like it. Maybe that's because. Well, you know what? It's a subtle root beer flavor because this is a way to get people into the mix. This is a way to recruit root beer haters. What's ancho? The type of pepper. Is it? Yeah. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Nothing. I just wasn't expecting that question. What ancho? <laughs> The ice cream is mm. exquisite. What made it so good? Ancho. <laughs> is it spicy? Is yeah, it yeah. spicy and sweet? It's spicy and sweet. Ooh, girl. It's a, it's, it's a, gosh, I've just created a problem. The chip is so sweet, and then you get that uh, saucified. I mean, we, I don't think we brought root beer as a float out of a dessert. You might think that it's not a dessert and then you can still get a dessert when you get a root beer float, but this puts it squarely in dessert territory. This is a chips and salsa dessert dish. You don't think a root beer float is a dessert? You think uh, it's an app? Kinda. Or a side? I think you could get away with saying, this is not my bona fide dessert. It's just a root beer float, it's a, it's a beverage. You mean like a milkshake is it necessarily a dessert? Because you could be like, it could be three o'clock and the only thing you eat is a milkshake. And then it's just like, it's just a little three o'clock meal. <laughs> yep. Right? I do that all the time. But this. Three o'clock meal. This is, this is squarely a dessert chip and salsa. Yeah, thanks for clarifying. And I love it. Mm -hmm. You made Link like root beer. Congratulations. Root beer float, will it chips and salsa? Yes! We would like to take this opportunity to finally address the question we've gotten every single day for the past decade. What would happen if Cinco de Mayo and National Mashed Potatoes Day had a baby? Okay, we're sick of you asking. So today, we're finally giving yep. you an answer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God! Introducing. It's okay. Cinco de Gravy. Mashed potatoes and gravy and uh, chips and salsa. That's How did it. you do it? Uh, so what we did is we made gravy chips with sage gravy and a little kick of MSG. And then oh, so you you we're not you didn't make the salsa out of gravy. No, you made the chip. You made the gravy. chip out of gravy. We made the chip out of gravy and the salsa is homemade mashed potatoes with salsa matcha. Oh, salsa matcha. Yeah. Salsa matcha. What's matcha? Salsa matcha is a type of salsa where you take dried chilies and you chop them up finely in oil. It's very spicy and very okay. delicious. Okay. But what's ancho? I don't know what to tell you, man. What's ancho mind? <laughs> Gravy chip passes the passes the test. It's salty. Oh, it's crispy. A little bit of spice. Peppery. A little bit of spice. Mmm. Pretty nice. Then you. I mean, I like how a good mashed tater serves as a great dip. I remember that. It's weird around here. MSG, I like that too. Just You just sprinkle MSG right on top of it? Not on top, it's mixed into the dough. We sprinkle gravy powder on top. Oh. Mm. This is weird, man. This is weird. If you didn't know that was mashed potatoes, you'd feel differently about it, wouldn't you? I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to interpret it. Like if I thought it was like cheese or something, it comes across as a cheese dip. It's obviously potatoes. I like it as potatoes. But it's I, just the room temperature, I, I do mashed potatoes I, I, is a I little like bit it. weird. I, no, I like it like that. I like it like that. You know how I like it. Room temperature taste. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> don't talk, don't talk to me like, like that. <laughs> you know how much I don't, like don't, it. don't talk. To, I don't know. Room I don't know how you like it. Room I don't want to know how you like it. I, it meaning taters. You said you know how I like it. <laughs> Room <laughs> temperature taters. Who's the you in that scenario? Me? You, yeah, you. You, you know how? Look, you can look at you can look at them and say, you know how I like it. Don't look at me and say that. You know how I like That's it. That's okay. I don't care about what Room you do with them. Uh, actually, um, I'd like to say I also don't enjoy okay. when you look. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Stephanie doesn't like that. <laughs> okay, so. Room temperature taters. Can I just say that part yeah, of it? Yeah. You know who likes room temperature taters? <laughs> Me. Mashed potatoes and gravy, will it chips and salsa? Yes! yes! For a while now, we've all been trying to find the good in some bizarre situations. Mm -hmm. I'm just talking about life, life how yeah. it is. So we developed a game, a tabletop game with our partners at Spin Master so we can all laugh in the face of disaster. It's called We're Still Good. We're Still Good. And the goal is to put a positive spin on a ridiculously bad situation. Get some friends together, pick up your copy of We're Still Good, the party game that laughs in the face of disaster. It's really fun, y'all. Uh, available at Amazon.com. Link is in the description. I was gonna open it, but I'm not. Boy, the box just looks great. And the stuff inside <laughs> makes it totally worth playing. Okay. <laughs> mm, let's move on to this guy. All right. Nice. There's plenty of times when I walk through a beautiful flower garden. Yeah, I've you know, noticed that about you. Just stop and smell the flowers. Yep. But I've never stopped and eaten the flowers. I have. Really? Is yeah. that because they were made into chips and salsa? No, it's just because some flowers you can eat. It's roses. Yeah, there's a lot of edible flowers which got us thinking, let's chip and salsa fire them. Presenting hippie chippies and salsa right here, Trevor. What did you do? Yeah, so what we did is we made chips out of edible flowers and rose water, and then that's a nice salsa verde with bee pollen and honeycomb. Oh, oh this is I'm just gonna try the chip first. Cause edible flowers is kind of like, it's a gimmick, right? It's just, it's like, it's like edible gold. No. It's just a little accoutrement. No, gold got no flavor, bro. Gold has no flavor. Gold is definitely just for looks. Flowers. Yeah. This does That's coming like, from somebody who doesn't like the floral floral flavors. I mean, this chip definitely tastes like a rose. I kind of like this. I in need fact, to, I need to dip it in something so that I might could like it. I'm thinking, if I pass, you will. Um, we all will pass. But if I pass before you, and people love to send flowers to the family, I get it. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> don't send. You're coming out against that. I don't need flowers. Well, I mean, maybe my wife will want flowers. Um, but send some, send some, some floral flavored things. In fact, send these. Hey, get Trevor on the line. <laughs> See if he's still good, <laughs> and uh, have him because this is going to be a while from now. Trevor, hey Trevor, Trevor there? will have like yeah. moved on. He'll be like an Olympic, dead. Olympic athlete. Don't you oh. want to be an Olympic athlete? We need to bring you back from the Olympics. Yeah, no, I'll come back from the Olympics to What's make up? some chips and salsa. You look like a winter Olympian. Out of flowers. Like what sport? Like the luge? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I've got the body for the luge. Like the the one where it's just one person on the thing. Is that luge? I think luge that, has multiple people. No, that's bobsled. Oh, that's you know, bobsled. Maybe luge is. You yeah. you really want to know what Trevor looks like? I was gonna say snowboarder. I really just like snowboard, um, like cleaner. <laughs> wow! Like snowboard, sno but no Olympic <laughs> Olympic snowboard polishers is a really that like that's not just anybody. In fact, those people have more skills than the people doing the snowboarding. Oh, okay. I just don't yeah, want you to right. get hurt, Trevor. Okay. Yeah. I, no, I get it. <laughs> I can't. I I can't pinpoint any reason that I would like this. Okay. Well, you don't have to like it. Just send it to my family if I die. That's really do, what. Do I was you like to it at. so much that you alone can send this forward? Don't you like the salsa? It's it's very sweet. Honey and pollen and... I actually think this works for somebody who likes floral flavors and wants them sent to their family if they pass. Well, okay. I'm, I'm sorry so I'm to a hear... So, I'm a solid yes, so I'm, I'm, I'm throwing it back on you. No, because of your untimely death, I'm gonna throw it back on you. Okay, flower garden, will it chips and salsa? Yes. yes. What's got eight legs, crawls up the water spout, and always keeps 100 eyes on you at all times? No, not Tom Cruise on top of cheerleading pyramid. <laughs> oh, what? Is that? 
Yeah. Is that what anyone yeah, was thinking? That's what all you were thinking, yes. Though that is equally unnerving. No, we're talking about spiders presenting chips and cross uh, <coughs> crawls. Uh, nasty, man. What, what kind of spiders, man? Uh, zebra tarantulas. Oh, my gosh. It's pretty simple. So what we did is we took spiders and then we made them into chips and then we took a salsa and then we put spiders in it, roasted spider salsa. God, Enjoy. Trevor. This is just a freaking spider chip? Yeah. Oh. And then look at the body of that thing. Like, oh my gosh, it's huge. Unfortunately, my death was not timely enough. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because I have made it ah! to this round and now I must eat. Spider? I'm angry! Zebra tarantulas? Yeah. What's a zebra it's tarantula? Is, it's it a, tarantula. Is, is it crossed with a zebra? Come ah. On. Get get a big old, get a, one of those big old things and I'll get one too. I mean, I'd rather have the thing that you're getting, right? I mean, this has got like. Ooh, and there's also a tomato in it? Yeah. <laughs> I also got a tomato and like, oh. I've got a whole, I've got like the bi the two big, the two big parts of a spider. Yeah, and look like at the, that part and that part. That's like, that's like. The front yeah. and the middle, the back and the middle. Oh gosh, oh gosh, Trevor. I know exactly who Trevor looks like. I was trying to tell you. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you in Good Mythical More. It's gonna blow your mind. Oh really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little, uh, yeah. a little flower on your, no, you're about to eat spiders, it doesn't matter. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared, Trevor. Dink it. And sink it. Mm. Oh! Oh, ho, 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 it tastes nasty! <laughs> Just don't think about the fact that it's a spider. <clears throat> I'm thinking about, you know what helps is that it's supposed to be crunchy mm -hmm. because of the chip. So that actually helps. That helps me. Like process the crunch in a way that doesn't make me think of spiders. Yum, 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 yum eating spiders. It's awful. <laughs> Man, this part and this part. Uh. Hey, good timing! Oh. We did it, man! Oh, oh, gosh. Wasn't that bad? It was awful. <laughs> well, I mean, the only redeeming factor, if you're gonna eat insects, mm. chips and salsa is the way to do it because, the, the salsa, because of the crunchiness. The salsa nature of the whatever else is in the salsa besides spiders, which honestly, it looks like mostly spiders. Oh, gosh. And mm -hmm. But I'm just telling you, it is the superior way to eat spiders. spiders. So that's something. Spider salsa. If you're in the mood for spiders, will it chips and salsa? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. If you're not in the mood for spiders, then it, it's um it is still the best way to do it. Hey, this so might I be. St I stand by that. Yes. The only Willet in the history of Willets that got a no in round one and a yes in the end. I don't know. I mean, I don't do that. I, I don't have a spreadsheet, but I'm just guessing. Uh, well, someone does. If you've got a spreadsheet, let us know if we just did something that we've never done before. I. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that yeah. bell. I, I, do, I do that. Yes, he thanks you. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Lauren. Hi, I'm Christina. And we're sisters, sisters from New Jersey. And we're about to try some illegal chips. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Think it and sink it. Bring it in law. Sisterhood of the traveling chips, chip eaters. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us help you get over that chip on your shoulder in good mythical. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Play We're Still Good with Your Friends, the party game that laughs in the face of disaster on Amazon.com.